Today we're gonna see how I get from this image to this image. So let's start with the stacked file. This is seven hours and a half of data. It's unprocessed and it's raw data. First of all, go to the Graxpert and load the stacked file to understand what change you apply to the image. Go here and apply a stretch. What it feels right to your eyes. And if you go further, you can see all the dust around. It's only on the preview mode. So let's do the crop. I didn't do live because my PC will burn out. But I will explain you every step. So it's a cropped image. After that, you do the background extraction. Adjust the smooth until you like the image. Here is 0.9. And after that, do a denoise on the linear image, the raw image, before you stretch it. And after that, you have to save it as a TIFF file 32 bits. So now we're moving to serial and load the new image, the new stacked image with AI background extraction and denoising, also with AI. It doesn't affect or change the data, it just calculates by algorithm about the noise and do the denoising without clipping the data or without messing this up. Let's go to the auto stretch. As we can see the difference between the previous image, look this and look this. A lot of difference, but you can still see the noise. If you go to the linear, is this. This is only an auto stretch on the preview mode. My first step is always to remove the green noise. After that, I will go for the color calibration about typing the object over there and press OK and it's done. And after that, I do the star processing, star net removal, click the pre-stretched linear image and execute. So after this process done, you're gonna see all the dust around, all the details without the stars. And now you can start processing the image. I'm always starting with the GHS in the modified stretch and as I told you before I can't stretch now because my PC gonna burn out so after all my stretches I finally came to the Photoshop open my files for the Orion Nebula I used one more file the Starless Bright and the Starless Dark Core it's two different images the one is for the core and the other one is for the nebulosity around. So here is a dark one, but the core is a little bit blown out, but anyways. And I'm gonna mix these two images. Copy this image, paste it here. Let's duplicate this. And here is really easy. Let's go to the select, color range, check the highlights, and adjust something like this. Don't worry about this area, select and mask, turn the view mode to the black and white and increase the feather, something like that, press ok, then you come here to the select and inverse the selection and you can press this button over there to create this and now you have the core and if you don't like, you are not ok with the result go from here to feather it up and just bring it in the level you want so now you have better detail and contrast here and emphasize in the surrounding area and in the surrounding space dust here is the star mask let's open it starting up I bring up my levels to see my stars and I will adjust it as I like and as it fits to the image later so let's come here and paste the stars the screen and here we are if you want brighter stars press ctrl l and bring up all this here and as you can see you can adjust wherever you want the stars if you want to take it back don't worry you can put it down so don't worry about the stars and after that i didn't I really do any adjustments on the colors. I like this natural color here on the core. 
I didn't want to do this a bright bright image because all the Orion's Nebula I've seen and on the internet and from my experience from my Orion's Nebula projects the core is full of colors, is full of brightness and we don't see any surrounding so in this project I emphasized here in all of this area to see the space dust I don't know if you can feel what I'm feeling when I'm capturing this data, this space dust and that's it was my workflow from the stacked image from here to here to the final image a new image, a space world thanks for watching Astro People you can always support me on the Patreon if you have any question or any thought about my image feel free to write me in the comments your thoughts, what do you believe about this image and how do you feel about this image